Okay. Uh, so, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Augusto. I have been working with the Radiant project for the past two years. And uh, today I'm going to present to you guys uh, what we have uh, done for the past year and uh, what is included in developer preview. So for those of you that doesn't know, uh, Radiant uh, is uh, an scalability solution that we have built for Ethereum. And uh, it can scale it to about a million uh, of transactions per second. OK, so I'm going to give you a quick agenda of my talk. Uh, this is going to be split in two parts. And the first 10 minutes, I'm going to talk about Redden. And the second half, uh, for the, uh, the last 10 minutes, we're going to talk about the micro Redden. So for the Redden, we're going to talk about the Redden APIs. Uh, Redden is exposing uh, an HTTP uh, RESTful API so that you guys can use to build applications on top of it. And uh, the goal of my presentation today is to explain to all of you uh, how you can use Redden to be build apps. And if, to that regard, we're going to talk about how can you join uh, the Radiant Network. Uh, once you have joined the Radiant Network, how can you make transfers? And how can you react to transfers that uh, your node has received? So that's the agenda. So first things first, uh, the setup phase. So Radiant is an open source project. We have it uh, available in the GitHub. And uh, under the release pages, we have uh, an app image that any of you guys can use to install Redden. Uh, it's an executable you can just download and start uh, running in your machine. Uh, right now, uh, Redden only works on Linux. We are fixing some issues with Mac OS in a week. Um, in, the, in, uh, in the next release, you should be able to use Redden on Mac OS too. Uh, for the moment, we don't support Windows. Uh, and also, I want to point out that Raiden is not an Ethereum node. Uh, Raiden is a separate process that communicates with an Ethereum node. So to use Raiden, you will also need an Ethereum node running on the machine that uh, you're working on. And uh, for that, uh, for the Raiden process to communicate with uh, the Ethereum node, we, you will need to enable JSON RPC because that's the current interface that we use to communicate. Uh, so once you have the setup done, let's start how to talk about how you use Raiden. So the first thing that you want to do once you have Raiden installed is to connect to the Raiden network. And uh, the Raiden network, uh, in the, in the Raiden process, we have two APIs to connect to the network. The first one that I'm going to present to you guys, uh, it's the endpoint for connections. This is uh, an automatic way of setting up channels uh, that Raiden is going to manage for you guys. And, uh, and the, the goal of this, uh, this endpoint is for you guys to configure Raiden, telling how much token uh, Raiden should use to manage and open channels with the network. So our goal is to never start using the tokens for that account that's configured with Raiden without the user permission. And you need to use that endpoint telling us how much funds do you want to use. Once you have used the endpoint, uh, Raiden knows uh, which funds you want to use, how much of uh, it you're allowing Raiden to use, and then Raiden will manage channels for you on your behalf. So that's uh, the automatic channel management. You can use it with the put verb in the API one connections endpoint. Uh, if you don't want to use the automatic management, you can open channels by hand. That's done by the put uh, verb in the channels endpoint. Uh, and that's basically the same thing, but you're going to manage the channels on your own. You just specify everything that you want to use in the JSON that's going to be sent to the server. And uh, the Raiden will uh, use the data that you provide to it to open channels. So everything like the token address, the amount of funds, the target node that you're connecting to, uh, it's defined by you. So these are the two APIs for connecting to the network. Once you have connected to a network, you have channels available to be managed. Uh, the way that you can manage uh, the channels open with Raiden is by using the patch uh, keyword, the, the patch verb for the HTTP. And uh, you can then patch the current status of your channel and uh, increase the deposit if you want to have more funds to make more transfers. Or you can change the state of the channel by closing it. Once you close the channel, uh, Reading will automatically wait for the settlement period. That's the period that uh, we have for dispute resolution. And once the dispute is over, uh, Reading will uh, withdraw your tokens from the channel uh, using the proofs that was available by both of the parties in the, in the channel. So that's everything that we need to know on how to connect to the Reading network. And uh, once you have connected to the Reading network and you have channels opened, uh, you can make transfers. So to make transfers, uh, you can use the post verb with uh, the transfers endpoint. And uh, uh, that uh, endpoint is going to expose to you guys hash time lock uh, mediated transfers. So hash time locks are a nice uh, abstraction that we can use. And that makes uh, for a cancelable and uh, expirable transfers. So that's uh, the best uh, uh, kind of transfers that we have that expose the nicest uh, error model for people to build applications on top. 
for making transfers, uh, uh, there is a, an important detail that Braden is not part of your application. Braden is a server that's running on a computer that you're going to communicate through REST APIs. And uh, you need to provide some knowledge or some uh, application-specific data to Braden so that both of the nodes, the one that's paying, the one that's receiving the payment, know what the payment is regards to. So let's assume that you're building an e-commerce application or something that needs to make a payment. Uh, for the e-commerce application, you can give an identifier to a cart and uh, use that identifier as part of the transfer. So that's the way that uh, the client application can tell the, the, part, the, per, the node that's being paid what the payment is about. Um, currently, we don't allow in the current version of the API to send arbitrary data. That may change in the future. That's just the current transport that we have available. OK, so once you've made uh, transfers, uh, that's two parts of the agenda. The last thing that you want to do is react to receiving payments through the rating network. And that can be done by pulling uh, for events in the rating node. Uh, we are just providing a simple uh, API for the moment with pulling. In the future, we, uh, we will add uh, maybe long pulling or different transport that can push events for you. Uh, but uh, the way that you can react to payments is by watching for the event transfer received uh, that event is emitted every time that we receive a payment, and then you can react to it. And uh, that event will have the identifier and the token and the amount of the transfer that uh, you received. So that's everything that you need to know uh, about the endpoints uh, available in Braden. And uh, with that, you can build applications on top of it that make payments using the Braden network. So if you want to test Raiden, uh, we currently are doing a developer preview. So uh, it's not available on the mainnet. It's only available on the Robson uh, test network. And uh, on the Robson test, test network, we have deployed all the Raiden uh, smart contracts and including the Raiden test token. And uh, with the Raiden test token, uh, we have uh, made available a mint method that uh, you can use to mint yourself some test tokens and use that test token to make payments in the test network. So once you have... Uh, use the Raiden test token to get yourself some tokens in the test network. Uh, you can uh, connect to some nodes. And here is a node that uh, you may try to use. Uh, we have made it. It's a programmable node that's just going to reply the transfers that you make to it with a transfer of the same amount and same token, in the case of the Raiden test token. And uh, if you want to connect to the test, and test network using the uh, automatic connection uh, endpoint, uh, we have made available uh, a test network with uh, 100. Uh, Raiden uh, nodes. So when you use the automatic uh, connection management, you're probably going to connect to one of our nodes, and everything is going to work as, as expected. So these details, uh, I, I'm not going to focus too much on them. They are all available in the documentation. And uh, as an example of uh, an application built on top of Raiden, we have built the web UI. So the web UI is uh, one of the UIs that we have available for the Raiden project. And the web UI is available in our source code that you can just find in the UI folder. And that uh, it's built using these uh, endpoints that I have showed you guys. Um, so that's everything that I have to show you. Uh, that's all you need to know to, uh, to build applications on top of a Raiden. And uh, uh, if you want more additional details on the, on the format of the JSON files, uh, the response, and uh, different verbs or different endpoints that we have available, you can go to the Raiden network, read the docs, and we have much more information there, including how to deploy your own tokens and use a different test network if you don't want to use the Robson test network. So with that, I'm just going to leave for Loredana that's going to talk about micro, micro Raiden. Hello, I'm Loredana, one of the developers that contributed to Micro Raiden. I'm going to tell you today what is Micro Raiden, for what you can use it, and I'll also show you a small live demo of a token fueled robot. So, what is Micro Raiden? Micro Raiden is a robust off chain payment channel framework. And it's easy to use at, off the shelf. It is good for 80% of the use cases that someone can think of when they are uh, thinking of using Raiden for their own service or business. 
It is a unidirectional, many-to-one implementation, which means we don't need to think about routing issues and uh, incentivizing fees for users who have open channels and want to share them with others. That This is why uh, we have off-chain transactions that are fast and free. MicroRaiden is available now on the Covan testnet and will be available on the mainnet by the end of November, which is by the end of this month. So what can you build with MicroRaiden? For human consumption, the most straightforward use case is paper use. And we already have two demos, uh, one with a fortune cookie paywall that is online now, and um, an unpleasant alternate world where you pay for Wikipedia. Um, but the most interesting use case is the machine-to-machine um, -machine micropayments that you can do. So basically, if you have an API that uh, you want to monetize, you can use, uh, use MicroRaiden. From utilities to data storage to scheduled API queries, and we already have a machine-to-machine -machine demo where we query the price of Ether in US dollars each second. And uh, you can see the entire life cycle of a, of a channel from opening to depositing new tokens to closing it and also see the off-chain micropayments, how are they created and received. And now for the live demo. I want you to bear with me a little bit. So this is Robo and I hope uh, there's a camera, yeah. Robo has his own Ethereum address. And he uses MicroRaiden uh, to be paid in tokens for his work. We already have an account here with Robo. This is the JavaScript client and we used uh, node red for this dashboard. And we can see that we already have an open channel with a deposit of 50 tokens and a channel balance of two tokens, which means that we already paid Robo two tokens for his services. We have a remote control for him and the buttons for forward, back, right, left, back, left, and back, right are connected to a micropayment endpoint. This is the MicroRaiden server. And we can see that the JavaScript client has signed a balance proof for us and that instantly the MicroRaiden server has received that payment. And so, sorry, I don't have enough time to show you everything. So, um, And you can see that the balance has increased with every press of the button. You can, of course, do this uh, by timing the robot or measuring the distance. But this was, I mean, we implemented this um, very, very fast in a couple of days. So it, it's not that complicated. OK. Uh, what we can do when we remain well, without tokens is go to our account and deposit more. And this is an on-chain transaction. So what you've seen until now are uh, off-chain micropayments. And to verify this, we can go to Etherscan and see that the transaction will be included in the block shortly. And we can also see the MicroRaiden server registering the event for depositing new tokens. Of course, when we've um, finished everything with Robo, we can close the channel. And again, we can verify in Etherscan that this is an on-chain transaction. And the MicroRaiden server has also received this. OK, going.
back to the presentation. Uh, the code for this, for the examples, are in the microRadian repositories uh, under microRadian, microRadian examples, and for the robot, the token hungry car, uh, we will link it in the README. But for now, the JSON for setting up the node red um, dashboard is in uh, one of my personal repositories. So to, to recap a bit. You can open a channel on-chain, you can deposit tokens on-chain, you can close a channel on-chain, but the essence of micro Raiden are the micropayments that are done off-chain, fast and free, between, closing, uh, between opening and closing a channel. I'll try to make it fast. A simple explanation of, of how it works. The sender and the receiver both uh, keep cop copies of the channel data, which is uh, receiver and sender Ethereum addresses, the block number at which the channel has been created, and the current balance. Because we've seen that the balance increases, so it's the last status. Um, and also the receiver has uh, the last balance proof received from the sender. Um, what is the last balance proof? It's, it's basically a message signed by the sender which contains the current balance, the block number, and the receiver's address. The micropayment works like this. The sender sends all this data along with his signature to the receiver. Um, the receiver provides the resource and also saves uh, this signed balance proof. We also support the ERC-223 in-work standard uh, along with the ERC-20 for opening a channel and depositing tokens, because the ERC-223 um, offers us the possibility of consuming less gas, because we, we only do one transaction instead of two for approving and opening a channel. I'm going to skip this very fast, um, maybe tell you a little bit about closing a channel, and we can do this, we can find ourselves in three states. One is a cooperative close, which is the best case scenario, when the sender queries the receiver for a closing signature and then closes the channel himself by providing his balance signature and the receiver's closing signature. And everything is well and good. If anything goes wrong, we have a challenge period where the channel can be closed by the receiver by providing that last balance proof saved. In conclusion, MicroRaden is ready to use. It is the go-to solution for frequent, fast, and free ERC-20 token-based off-chain micropayments on the Ethereum blockchain. And don't forget, robots also want crypto. Thank you, Loredana.